time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I am all out of gum. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. Hadouken! Prove me wrong, and that'll be great. Hello, welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boring Company. I hope you're all well. It is that time when we go through our quarterly review. In fact, it isn't that time. I am about two months late on this one. This is our Q1 review. Reviewing projects that started in the first quarter of this year. I am miles behind, I admit that. Um, but a, a good few things have been going on and it's important that I keep this up, not only for um, the history of the Boring Company, but for my own personal records as well. If you've not seen this before, uh, basically I've made some records on all the projects that have both been proposed uh, under construction um, and are currently in, in planning or have just fallen by the wayside. Um, and then I just go through all the various kind of metrics that we'd use to kind of measure these and, and, and cost these kinds of things and also the probability of completion, uh, which is kind of interesting for me. Uh, I don't know if you guys find that interesting. Um, what I will say is there's a lot of information on the screen at the moment that, that's not really um, too useful for you guys. It's useful for me, but it's not really useful for you. If you want to look at this document further i will put the link to it down in the script subscription uh, the uh, description below um if not no just pause the video have a look at what you see now um what i'll do what i'll do is i'll just do a little bit of magic and voila there we go we've, we've cleaned up the clutter as it were and then we can go through uh, the, these various uh, projects a little bit quicker than we have done in the past. Okay, so let's go and have a look. So let's start at the beginning uh, with our kind of our first project that was really built by the Boeing Company, which is the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop. Um, uh, I've noticed on the Boeing Company website they've now put this down as a project value at $47 million, so it's even better than what I predicted. A lot of people in the media are quoting $54, $52 million. That's incorrect because it includes the, the bond. I've discussed this many, many times before. We, we, we don't really need to, to, to go through this one. Uh, the San, San Jose Airport Loop. Um, I've put the probability of completion on this one at this moment in time at 4.5%. Doesn't seem to be very much going on with this. I do like this project. It links up the uh, the airport to the train station, which is a rare thing in the US, uh, in many cities, specifically in California, Texas, and in the center of the country. But uh, yeah, it might, it might come back this one, but I'm not too sure. Um, Hawthorne Test Tunnel, uh, remember that incredible video of someone going through here 116 miles per hour um, that always was a very fond memory uh, for followers of this channel and myself um, so that stays in there Hawthorne Test Tunnel was an important part of the Boeing Company history and, and really started the ball rolling when it came to uh, exploring tunneling and, and the kind of processes behind that uh, dugout loop very very small probability that this is going to be completed um, it made a lot of sense um, linking up the baseball stadium there, the Dodgers uh, stadium. Um, but it, it seems like planning approval uh, could take three, four, maybe even five years. Uh, and, and things have changed a lot since this was proposed. So it, it's very, very unlikely. I've got the probability of completion at around 1.25%. And I think that's being generous. Um, Resorts World Las Vegas, I have... Uh, change this to a completed project as of today. I believe that this system is ready to go. They're just kind of waiting uh, for, for a good day to, to kind of open it and, and, and get the drivers in there. Um, everything's there. The vehicles are ready. The tunnel's ready. Uh, the station uh, at Resorts World is ready. Uh, all, the, all the kind of bays are marked out at the convention center. Um, I suspect this will be an interesting project um, and hopefully hopefully we should start to see some videos on the results world uh, project as it 
uh, opens up. Uh, this, this project will be completed in three phases, possibly two. I'm hearing it's going to be two phases now. So it'll, perform, it'll, it'll actually uh, ultimately look like a circle, as it were. So uh, you'd be able to essentially drive around the entire system in under about three and a half minutes. Uh, so you, if you start at Resorts World, you'd end up at the, the North Station at Las Vegas Convention Center, then to Station um, uh, 3, and then you'd go back to Resorts World, and it'd be just a single tunnel. Um, Encore Wind Casino, uh, Nevada. Very, very strange that this is kind of looks like it might be paused at the moment. Um, what, what I'm hearing about this one is, is that basically they're, they're going to wait until approval has been confirmed uh, for the Las Vegas loop and then they might consider doing this at the same time or kind of halfway through. Um, it's a shame that one because because I particularly like this this system, um, very long straight alignment. Um, but it will eventually get built, and I've reduced the probability of completion down to eighty percent. Uh, uh, the Ontario Airport Loop, obviously, the Boeing company is in the kind of like the final phases with this one in regards to tendering process. They they have essentially won it, um, but we've not heard anything back, and there's not been any kind of. Uh, plans sent out or kind of designs for stations and things like that so up until then we, we just assumed that it's still going ahead but it's just taking a bit of time it is california you know it could take two three years maybe to get approval for this um, and, and and ultimately uh you know with those kinds of delays is it really worth the boring company waiting that out when they could be doing other projects probably not so it, it, it might be one of those that, that kind of uh, falls away. Uh, Fremont Supply Tunnel, again, this is one of these projects that I thought made a lot of sense in my head, hence why the status is conceptual. Some people think that um, I'm just making up projects uh, in my head and, and just proposing them to the Boeing company. Absolutely not. This has been uh, explored in various other videos by other YouTubers and I was just adding this to my list because I, I thought it made a lot of sense and I wanted to encourage debate around it. Um, I'm not emailing the Boeing company and telling them they must do projects like this because <laughs> they can do whatever the hell they want. Uh, CERN Particle Accelerator, again, a really, really interesting project. Um, I don't think they've got the money for this at the moment so uh, or ever, so it's probably never going to happen. Probability of completion, 2.5%. Las Vegas Loop, Nevada, we are looking uh, to, to get a decision on this at uh, some point in the next two to four weeks. Um I believe we'll hear something this month, uh, so June. Um, I think they will give planning approval to part of it, if not all of it, um, and then we'll, we may start to see construction towards the end of the year, uh, maybe a bit earlier. Uh, big project this, you know, close to 30 miles, um, half a billion dollars. Um, all the casinos are paying for their stations. Excuse me. Um, so the main cost is kind of uh, the tunnels, which the Boeing company is going to front, um, and it's going to have an insane throughput of around fifty-seven thousand per hour. So we're talking many hundreds of vehicles in the system, um, which will be very, very impressive. It's a big system though, so it should be able to cope with that fifty-seven thousand, or at least get above fifty thousand. Uh, the Austin uh, Loop in Texas. Um, not entirely sure what's going on with this one. Really, not too sure. I've, I've heard that there's been some kind of um, a falling out um, and that they may kind of uh, hold, off, hold off on this particular project, which is a great shame. But we've not seen any drawings for it. We've not seen any kind of uh, proposed uh, routes um, that, that look kind of concrete in terms of how they want to do it. So it, it's probably um, going to be delayed a few years, that one, and they'll concentrate on other projects. Fort Lauderdale Loop, whoops a daisy. Again, this one is definitely in the pipeline. It's definitely gonna get done. It's just a matter of it going through the planning process, which it is doing now. Um, this is a really exciting project, nice long straight alignment, uh, not too many stops along the way, uh, and should be able to get up to quite high speed this one. We're looking at around $67 million for that particular project, although it's not been totally confirmed. Um, Adelanto Test Tunnel, uh, 
that again is another completed project that was done um, tested the ground conditions tested proof rock one um, a lot of good work was put into that one um, and they, they should be very pleased with what's come out of that um, I'm not sure if they're still based there I don't know if they've still got operations there or if they've closed it down they possibly still have operations there but they're not doing anything there at present because obviously they've got this site here the the Bastrop uh, test tunnel in Texas the Boeing company is is more based out of Texas now so you're going to see the kind of impetus of the projects that they they're pushing uh, being in the Texas area and surrounding states so uh, uh, Bastrop test tunnel is going to have multiple tunnels maybe four or five six tunnels all quite short all using uh, porpoising all using more advanced methods of uh, uh, tunneling and mining and um, i believe they've started doing a tunnel already um, whether they've kind of continued with that or they've just stopped halfway uh, it remains to be seen they're definitely doing things on that site there um, but but it's it's kind of taking a little bit of time uh, someone has actually uh, lodged a, a complaint and, and the Boeing company are being investigated at the moment. Um, I have a funny feeling I know who lodged that complaint as well. But uh, hey, you know, um, that's the, that's how it is. You know, uh, people are going to complain about things that you're doing, even if you're doing them right. And the authorities are obliged to investigate to ensure, you know, citizens and um uh, the ground and the environment is is protected. Uh, San Antonio uh, Loop. Um, again, not really got much plans for this one, but I, from what I've heard, it's it's still definitely going on in um, in in the background. Um, really, hopefully that will will get pushed forward. Um, in fact, I think it's San Antonio. I'm getting a bit. Uh, mixed up here so uh, the Austin loop in Texas is, is definitely going ahead um, and we'll start to see things happening fairly soon it's the officials in San Antonio who've had a falling out with the Boeing company my apologies there bit of a mix up um, so it's San Antonio that, that's, that's got potential delays on that one and we might not see that happen for a good couple of years uh, South Padre Island tunnel um, all hinges on whether SpaceX are going to get approval uh, to kind of expand that facility and do uh, launches uh, from that facility as they continue to expand it. Uh, um, obviously Starship is, is progressing nicely in that area, but if they don't get approval uh, from the Environment Ag Agency, and a lot of Tesla Q people are really pushing very, very hard to try and get this stopped, um, it, it, it's quite troubling to, to see how uh, deranged these, these people get um, over the kind of planning of uh, consent for this particular uh, base so again I don't think that's possibly going to happen and even if it were to be proposed um, it, it might not be worth doing now um, but we will see so I've put 7.5 down 5% as probability completion um, in terms of the Miami project I've now broken it down into three projects uh, why three and not four well th th there is like a short extension uh, that's along the North Miami Beach uh, portion and to be honest with you if that get, ever gets approved I'll, I'll just add it onto the project length and the cost per mile that will be ch changed accordingly um, again this is in planning approval the Miami project um, whether they'll they'll do the North Miami Beach bit first in terms of planning approval and then look for the Hard Rock and then the FIU uh, uh, Biscayne section it, it remains to be seen I suspect they will do it like that uh, the total throughput for that system is 15,000 per hour but as you can see I've, I've divided it up between the three projects um, it might not necessarily uh, divide up like that but uh, but hey um, another new project that is very very likely to succeed uh, we might see planning approval uh, before uh, Christmas is the the Kyle pedestrian underpass underneath the Union Pacific uh, Railroad there? Um, very fairly small project at 2.85 million. Um, quite quite short project, 0 0.09 miles or 0 0.15 kilometers. Uh, cost per mile is quite excessive, but because you're poor poising down and then poor poising up, basically in the same location. Um, you, you're not getting those economies of scale for, you know, for, from doing like a straight line of tunnel. So, so basically, that's why the cost per mile is is so excessive. Um, 
the longer the tunnel, the, the the better economies of scale you get to an extent. Once you get, you know, more than sort of fifteen miles between stations, it, it kind of the percentage is, is negligible. But uh, it makes a big difference when it's just zero point zero nine miles, uh, around six hundred feet. Um, again, this is Prefog Two. Uh, vehicle speed. I put five miles per hour here. It, 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 it says pedestrian tunnel, but they have mentioned in the documents that they will have vehicles going through there. That probably is bikes and, and maybe scooters and maybe the odd Arkimoto, who knows, um, it, people on rollerblades. So I think five miles per hour seems uh, suffice. Um, the, the kind of passengers per hour per direction, you're looking at around 500. Uh, probability completion, 85%. Uh, and finally, uh, our most kind of recent uh, video, I've done that again, um, is the uh, I-35 commuter tunnel in Texas. So that goes from uh, San Antonio to, uh, 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 what's it called, New, New Brun, Brunfels, New Brunfels to San Marcos to uh, uh, the town of Kyle up to Austin. Um, I've seen emails surrounding this, whether this is going to go ahead uh, remains to be seen, but I've put it in there. Put the probability of completion at 55%. Maybe they might just run it from San Marco to uh, Austin, uh, but we'll have to see. Um, got the total cost uh, around $949 million. Uh, that we're using Proof Rock 2 on that one. Uh, vehicle speed will be considerably higher on this one because uh, it's a very long system. Uh, long straight lines underneath the, uh, the highway so you're looking at around 115 miles per hour um, I put here conceptual because I don't think they've put in for planning approval yet uh, throughput is around 20,500 per hour maximum uh, could be considerably higher than that but uh, as we don't see, have any more information on proposal I've played it fairly safe on that one okay so that is our um, update for this quarter Q1 um, I'll probably do the Q2 update in about two months time because I need to get on top of this um, Hopefully you enjoyed uh, that particular update as you can see things are still progressing nicely for the Boeing company You know, obviously I'd like to see them be building more projects at this moment in time But we've just come out of quite a, uh, a difficult economic period and um, They're certainly doing a lot of things in the background the, the most important project for them is obviously the uh, Las Vegas project. Uh, so it's essentially this one here. Um, I think that that will get approval uh, in the next two to three weeks and then we'll start to see construction uh, towards the latter half of this year and uh, then the hype will start building uh, because we'll start to see plans, you know, we'll start to see kind of specifications uh, for how the system's going to operate, how much it's, it's going to cost exactly, how it's going to be uh, operated, which casinos are going to get connected up first. I presume the ones north of the uh, strip will be the kind of first ones that, that get connected and then it will go south into the strip and then finish up um, kind of uh, uh, like the, the south southwest area of Las Vegas before then connecting up to the airport if they eventually get around to deciding where that connection is going to go. Uh, okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Hope you uh, learned something. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. If you think some of the uh, numbers in this video uh, or this document are wrong, please let me know. I will make changes. I have noticed a couple of things just as we're going through it. Uh, there always seems to be something that I've forgotten to update, but uh, but hey, you know, um, I need to stay up on top of this document a bit more. Okay, so remember guys, don't be boring. I will see you on the next video and remember, be safe. Take care. Goodbye. Hadouken. You are already dead. What?